Good evening from Scott Duckworth. Um, I'm gonna make this very quick. Uh, I'm gonna go out of the uh, bounds of my channel, which is motorcycle camping and outdoors adventures and things like that and travel. Um, I'm asked all the time, where are all these missing people going to? Well, I've got some answers for you and I'm gonna be as accurate as I can. And I'm gonna pretty much talk about this very quickly on what I've dealt with personally. I'm not gonna go with any kind of government uh, stats or what they think or anything like that. We're gonna get straight to the point. Let me put my old man glasses on. I'm approaching 60, I can't see up close anymore. Uh, substance abuse, without going into details, that's a big part. I would say a very huge part of uh, missing persons. The second would be the uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. Another big part of cases that have landed in my lap as far as missing persons goes. Uh, mental illness, dealt with some of that here. Um, unfortunately, it happens. Uh, moving forward without, I keep wanting to elaborate on these topics, but I can't, I can't because it would take hours. Uh, the next one would be water-related. Drownings happens all the time. Uh, as a matter of fact, many of you have probably seen some of the news topics come out here uh, the, over the last year. They find a, a, a vehicle in a, in a canal or a river or a creek where someone was missing 20, 30, 40 years ago. They just drove off and somehow ended up there. Um, and by the time they find them, uh, the parents have now deceased, so the parents never got closure. And I cannot imagine having any kind of closure. Uh, now, this is one of the last ones that I've got here, and this kind of goes off into about two or three different elements. Uh, Drug-related, uh, bad people, the criminal element. Big, big, big. Um, that'd be a big number in my book. I've dealt with that as far as murders and things like that. And um, here again, I can't we don't have enough hours to go into all of that. So there are just a few elements of where they're going They're going to. Uh, child abductions is, an, is another one. And I'm gonna say this very quickly because this may offend some people because they're not gonna wanna accept it. All of this crap and these drugs flowing, they're free flowing from, our, from Mexico into the Texas, uh, crossing the Texas border unchecked. It, the cartels are loving us right now, whether you like it or not, and I'm not being political. There is a free flow of fentanyl coming in from China, landing in Mex Mexico, and coming right to Texas and distributed all across the United States of America. Like it or not, it's happening. There's where it's at. And you know what? I'll leave it at that. Thank you for listening. If you like what I've got to say, hey, subscribe to the channel. Um, I did uh, do a quick video, which here again is out of the um, the, the boundaries of uh, moto camping adventures. Uh, I think I did a quick video. It was some footage of us working in a landfill looking for a murder victim in Houston, Texas. Uh, if you're new, go back and look at it. Some of you, most of you, probably already seen it. Anyway, cheers. Thank you all for viewing. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. I hope I can bring you some valuable information. Lots of good stuff coming soon. Uh, thank you for viewing and have a great night. I appreciate you.